finish uh, winning a championship with the FC Akron States, you're disappointed. But uh, I think overall, a lot of the younger guys got some good learning experience, and we're going to be leaning on some of those now who are, would, you, would be our veterans. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think you learn a lot from last year. I think the guys learned a lot from last year. But you got, you got to bring your best game all the time. You can't be inconsistent, and then uh, and they're really working this year to be like that. Uh, I believe the majority of our team is sophomores and, and some juniors. We only have two or three seniors. Um, and so you know, we'll be leaning on a lot of those juniors who were sophomores last year who got a lot of playing time and, uh, and, and, and looking to some of the sophomores to kind of you know, pick up the, the slack and, and, and get, get older quickly. Uh, but um, we'll be working very hard uh, to, to come together as a team, to work hard, and to get uh, you know, good experience under our belts. That's all they really need right now is they don't have any experience. Well, we have our, our tri-captains, which would be uh, Ryan Fisher, Alex Moser, and Tim Swabe. Uh, those guys, we're really going to have to step up and, and lead this group. We're going to have a, a, a good core group of young players that are going to do a, a good job. So uh, we'll see which one of those guys actually steps up and, and, and be, a, you know, I think, a good you know, leader for our group. All it is is reteaching. Uh, you know, reteach stuff that uh, some guys know and some guys have heard about or maybe seen a little bit about and uh, and just getting reps. I mean, right now I'm just trying to get the younger guys as many reps as they possibly can um, so that they get a little bit of experience on their belts and it's not the first time they're seeing something. Trying to give them all different types of looks so they, uh, when they get in the game they'll hopefully have seen something at least once or twice. The FCAC is always competitive. I mean, you can add Richfield and, and Staples mm -hmm. into that argument as well as McMahon. But uh, with, with a young team like this, yeah, we're going to see a lot of really tough games, whether it's be Darian, or Caden, Wilton, you know, Richfield, McMahon, or Staples. What we're really focusing on now is what we can do and not really what other people can do against us. You know, we, if we do what we're supposed to do right, we'll be in every game. Um, and, and, again, and again, we're trying to get as many reps as we can, we can with this young group, uh, build on that confidence, and, and uh, we'll see where we are. I mean, really, realistically, we're looking to be you know, hitting our stride in playoff time and, and, and see what we can do. So, uh, games that we're looking for, when we start for Richfield, then we have Wilden, and then we are right into it. And I think a, you know, a huge game for us would be Chaminade coming out from Long Island. Uh, I mean, they're one of the best teams in the country, so hopefully by then we're ready to play a big-time game. And then uh, we'll have Darianne later in the year in the Canyon, and then uh, we'll go into the playoffs.